Welcome to the Guild Family Stream. Brother in Christ, Lord Day to Jesus Christus in Sequila. This is Timothy Flanders at the Meaning of Catholic. Jesus is King. Welcome to the Guild Family Stream, in which we discuss all of the most controversial and pertinent news and commentary and important questions. We have a very important question to discuss today about the validity of baptisms. And then we're going to discuss the latest interventions from actually three cardinals. Uh, Cardinals Zen, Muller, and Sandoval. Uh, Sandoval is a Mexican cardinal, and he signed the most recent New Dubia. And um, we're going to talk about those. In particular, Cardinal Muller, his intervention is very significant because he actually challenges his own successor in, in, in a responsum, an official responsum of his own successor and introduces a very, very critical magisterial problem that is occurring under this pontificate. So all that and more coming right up. And if you want the full treatment, as always, we'll release the first few minutes of this publicly. But if you want the full treatment, go to meaningofcatholic.com slash register. You can join our international guild community against the Marxists, where we support one another in building up the domestic church and Christendom in our own domestic church and parish communities. And we support each other in forming our children in the faith. So, meaningofcatholic.com slash register. So, first, the very important question about the validity of baptism. Uh, This is an issue that has arisen as of late. Um, There was was a few bad cases of it that came to the fore in recent news. But we all know that... A sacrament requires three things, form, matter, and intention. And the difficult issue is with the intention. What is an intention? If if you remember catechism, the the matter is the thing, literally the matter, like the scientific term matter. It's the thing that God created that is used in the sacrament. So in the sacrament of the the blessed sacrament, the Eucharist, bread and wine. That is the thing. And then the form is the way that those things are put together with words and actions that are done by the priest, or in some cases, lay people in the case of baptism. And with baptism, the matter is water. The form is, I baptize you, name, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Or you can also say the Greek form, which is, name is baptized in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And so the, so that's the form is, and then it's pouring the water on the head of the baptizand, baptizandus, and saying those words. So matter, form, and then, so what is the intention? Well, the intention is a bare minimum. The intention is to do what the church does, to do what the church does. And this is a bare minimum because what the church does is put together those form and matters that the, the form and the matter, it puts it together and there's a sacramental effect. What this means is you can actually intend to disallow the sacramental effect and the sacrament is still valid. So I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to read this, responsum from the holy office which clarifies this very question and this is important first of all i think we can recognize in this the mercy of almighty god saint thomas has this great answer about baptism where he says why is water used for baptism And he says it's fitting because water is so plentiful everybody needs water to be alive and water is everywhere so therefore waters anywhere people are there's water and so that's why god created this thing uh, created baptism to be from water because it's so ubiquitous. So let me read this responsum. This is the responsum is from an article by Robert Cisco, uh, which is entitled, What is the intention to do what the church does? Excuse me. 
Okay, so the the relevant portion is is quoted here on the screen here. Uh, so this is from the Holy Office, December 18, 1872. I'm just going to read this and then we'll comment. And I think this clarifies this, this important question uh, very uh, clearly. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the dubium quad baptisma administratum ab heretetis. Uh, so a question regarding baptism administered by heretics. Here's the question. Quote. In some places, some heretics baptized with the proper matter in the form simultaneously applied, but they expressly warn the baptizons not to believe that baptism has any effect upon the soul, for they say that it is merely the external sign of aggregation of the sex, and so often the Catholics in their crowd turn around their belief about the effects of baptism and call it superstitious. So question one, whether baptism administered by those heretics is doubtful on account of a defect of intention to do what the church willed, if an express declaration of, uh, was made by the minister before he baptized, that baptism had no effect on the soul. So then question two is, is similar. Uh, whether baptism so conferred is doubtful if the aforesaid declaration was not expressly made immediately before the conferring baptism, but had often been asserted by the minister and the same doctrine was openly preached in that sect. Okay, so uh, just to summarize, what they're asking is, let's say some heretic somewhere, some Protestants said, okay, we're going to use the form of the matter that the church does, but be careful to not believe that this has a sacramental effect like the Catholics believe because that's wrong. And then they baptize with that form and matter that the church believes. So they're expressly intending to not affect the sacramental effect. Now, notice what the Holy Office says here. Reply to the first question in the negative. Because despite the error about the effects of baptism, the intention of doing what the church is not uh, doing what the church does is not excluded and reply to the second is provided in the first so in other words the holy office said even in the case where the heretic is saying we're going to baptize with the form and matter but we are going to intend to not bring about the sacramental intention so in, in other words the sacramental intention that's kind of we we might we might summarize and say that the sacramental effect is what God does in the sacrament. As long as you're doing what the church does in the sacrament, God will do what he does in the sacrament. So the even that the heretics positively will against what God intends to do with that sacrament, God will still do what he intends, no matter what their intention is in that sense. They all, all they have to do is intend that form and matter in the way that the church does it. They have to intend to do what the church does. So as long as they are doing what the clerical, the man should be doing, and in the case of heretics, they're all, um, well, not always in terms of uh, Eastern Orthodox, but they're all laymen. They're not even, um, you know, real priests. But as long as they're doing what the church does, you know, as long as they're doing what man does in the sacrament, God will do it. He does. So this is, a, I think this is great mercy because it means that even people who are doubtfully baptized are, in, are indeed baptized because God is merciful in these situations. So I think this is an important thing to uh, bring up if there's any doubt, any scruples about this. Um, very important uh, responsum from the um, Holy Office, 1872. So uh, with that, we're going to talk about Cardinals Zen, Sandoval, and Muller, and their very important interventions uh, regarding the Synod of Synodality, regarding the, the responsa, uh, another responsa at Dubia. And so we're going to talk about all that. You can get the full treatment at meaningofcatholic.com slash register. Be back in just a minute. Mm -hmm. 